All right, uh, hello SEC West fans again. This is Rick uh, coming at you for a week seven preview. Um, looking over last week a uh, little bit, I was not confident in this at all of it happening, but I did say last week if LSU got productive quarterback play, and I mean just productive, they would win the Florida game uh, going away with it. They got productive uh, quarterback play. We spotted Florida 14 points, and they still came away with the victory. Uh, I know everybody out there saying Les Miles is lucky, but I'm here to tell you I, I think the opposite. I think he's about the unluckiest coach around because any coach that has to face what he does, uh, turning the ball over five times against Tennessee, spotting Florida 14 points on some turnovers in that game, uh, you know, I – Maybe he's lucky at the tail end of it, but I guess that the yin and yang and uh, the forces that be uh, try to even that out. I don't know, but I don't think he's as lucky as y'all think he is. Anyway, the mighty Alabama got beat. It's been pretty fun listening to Fine Bomb the last couple days. Uh, I'm an Alabama fan, of course. I like that program. I love their coach. I like what they're doing. But I can say... Um, at the beginning of the year, I thought Alabama would have four losses because I thought they were going to be too worried about making movies and uh, those crazy ESPN appearances on uh, whatever that reality TV show is or whatever. Anyway, so they got their first loss, and they got whooped by South Carolina. End of story. I don't think they have a whole lot to worry about this week, but, um, you know, that remains to be seen. I can say of listening to the Alabama players all week, all they keep talking about is going to Atlanta. We can still get to Atlanta. We can go to Atlanta. We're still in the running for a national championship. To me, when you hear players say that, that just means that they're begging for another loss. So I said Bam was going to get four losses at the end of the year. And I'm going to stick by it. I'm going to think they're going to get three more. I can't look at the schedule here and tell you where they're going to come from. I just think that's what's going to happen. You know, they're, they're too worried about the results and not savings process. And uh, But we'll see what happens. Enough Bama bashing because that's not what I'm trying to do. We got Florida, eight-point uh, favorite over Mississippi State. I think that game might get weird. Um, more even so, I, I'm going to take uh, Mississippi State in eight points. I don't think Florida's who Florida's supposed to be. Uh, Bama and Ole Miss, uh, twenty point favorite over Ole Miss. Uh, I guess the, I'm thinking the Tide's going to come in there with a chip on the shoulder, pissed off, and I think they're going to roll over Ole Miss. I can tell you this, and I'm going to stick by this. I think. Ole Miss is going to beat either Alabama, Auburn, or LSU. That's one of three, and we got one of them coming up this week. So I'm hoping Ole Miss will get it out their system against Bama. Then when LSU plays them, uh, we won't have to worry about that. But we'll see. I, I think I think Richardson and Ingram alone is going to come in there fired up, ready to uh, get 30, 40 carries and just run them out of the stadium. That is if McIlwain gives them the ball 30 times a game. Are you listening to me, McIlwain? <laughs> um, LSU plays McNeese. There doesn't seem to be a line on that game. I can't find one. doesn't matter. Uh, I can say McNeese is a very proud football program. They're used to playing for championships in the early 90s. So, you know, they're a cream puff. And I don't think LSU's going to have any problems with them. But, you know, Les Miles is our coach, so who knows? Uh, there's not really a whole lot to be said about that game other than the fact that, believe it or not, this is LSU's first non-BCS opponent that we've played all year. All our out-of-conference games, we had one from ACC and uh, one from the Big East. You know, North Carolina's down this year a lot, but still, this is really the true uh, the first true out-of-conference cream puff, so to speak, that we're going to play. So anyway, 
the big game of the week, of course, is Auburn and Arkansas. Auburn's a three-point favorite over Arkansas. If y'all remember last week, I told y'all I picked, I picked um, Kentucky with the points against Auburn. I really thought Kentucky was going to beat them, but that didn't happen. But I still won my bet on the points. So, Auburn and Arkansas, I mean, I would take Arkansas in the three points. I got an email here from Aaron this morning. I'm going to get Aaron on the show uh, later in the week. I'm probably, I'm looking for an Auburn fan. Still haven't found one. It's been a year now. If you're an Auburn fan and want to get on this show and talk with Aaron in the next couple of days about the upcoming matchup or talk to me when we play you or, or Sorrell when uh, Alabama plays Auburn, email me at secwestdudes at live.com so we can get you on here. But let me read this email from Aaron. He's our uh, Arkansas fan. Uh, he says, Arkansas is 13th in points allowed in the nation and 50th overall in scoring offense. Kind of weird for a team whose biggest concern coming in the, into the season was could the defense hold opponents from scoring points, and whose biggest expectation was the high-powered offense that was going to light up scoreboards across the country. You know, he's right. that, uh, And I didn't even think about this, Arkansas being 13th in points allowed in the nation. That's pretty damned good. So, then he goes on to say, I think this week will be a very interesting game as it appears to be a classic run offense versus pass offense. Auburn is 8th in the country in rushing offense. Arkansas is 96. Auburn is 69th in the country in passing offense. Arkansas is 3rd. Traditionally, when you look at these games with the high-powered running offenses and the high-powered um, passing attacks, you usually want to go with the running teams but then you want to look at the defense Auburn is 18th in scoring offense 40th in points allowed on defense Arkansas is 50th in scoring offense and 13 points allowed on defense so so far at week seven it looks like what we've seen is a lot of questions about Arkansas is their offense really hadn't uh, lived up to what we all thought they were going to be they're not bad you know Ask Alabama if they can score points on you. It's just that they're not as good. But we also see a situation where the defense is much better, and that question mark, it seems at this point in time, has been answered uh, for the Razorbacks. Let me continue reading his email. Uh, I think the key to the game is for sure, can Arkansas contain Cam Newton's legs and make him beat us with his arm? And can Auburn get pressure on Mallet and force him into interceptions? Auburn is 19th in the country with 15 sacks this season. I'm thinking Vegas, Vegas opens up somewhere around Auburn minus 3 to Auburn 6. And he was right. Uh, actually, he wrote this email on Monday before the lines came out. Should be another great game. He's going to go with Arkansas 28, Auburn 27. In my opinion, on Auburn, they escaped the Mississippi State game because of a Mississippi State player missed an easy catch to keep a drive going. That was late in the game. Clemson, the same thing. Um, containing Cam Newton's legs really hadn't been done yet, but, you know, somebody's going to do it. I don't know if it's going to be Arkansas, and I don't think he's going to beat him with, a, with his arm if he can. If you remember last year going into this game, it was a pretty similar situation. and um, But, you know, Arkansas pulled it out. Very convincing win. So I think we're going to see a lot of the same. I think we're going to see an Auburn team looking for uh, for Atlanta, too. Uh, I, you know, they're coming in 6-0, and riding high. The tide just lost. I think it's a good time. Uh, for an Arkansas team that's still reeling from an Alabama loss, that's still reeling from a Texas A&M near about loss, uh, where they got kind of lucky. I think you add all those up together. And plus, I think Petrino's still kicking himself in the rear about that Alabama game where it looked like he kind of took the foot off the gas. So, with that said, I'll let y'all go. I appreciate y'all listening, but I'm still going to take Arkansas. I like I like Aaron's prediction, 28 to 7, 27. Um, 
I like it. We'll see what happens, but I'll definitely take Arkansas this week, and uh, we'll talk to you later. And again, we're going to try to get Aaron on here a bit, little bit later uh, in the week and see how it goes. Appreciate it.